once again guys, I hope you're all good and welcome back to another video. So we've got a popular video today, 25 amazing players for a championship side. So let's go over a couple of things. Roughly the average transfer budget in the championship is 5.95 million. Add in a successful preseason tournament should hopefully add on another 3 million or so. Hopefully you're willing to sell a couple of players off to help fund some new signings because some clubs like Burton have a starting budget of just under 1.5 million. But all players in this countdown are available for less than 5 million. So let's see who's made the list. So we'll start with keepers and the first keeper I'd recommend for you guys today is Thomas De Dillon. He's the most expensive player of the 25 on offer at 4.1 million but you can easily get him for cheaper than that. He's a well established first season keeper to bring in at 20 years old and 71 rated and is of a decent height at 6 foot 4. 74 handling, 73 reflexes, 71 positioning, 71 diving. 2 star weak foot and also has one of the best potentials of the countdown at a very solid 84. So if you're looking to get a new starting 11 keeper, sell your current one and pursue this man for 4.1 million and 6,100 a week. Or if maybe that's beyond your budget for shot stoppers, Ethan Horvath is hopefully your answer. 21 years old, 6 foot 4, slightly lower rated at 69, but still a solid option in net. Decent looking goalkeeping stats, definitely good enough to be a starter in the championship anyway. Plus with the overpowered goalkeeper training, he'll be high rated in no time. 3 star weak foot and a potential of 82. And if he's the right goalie for your new championship side, go ahead and bring him in for 2.5 million and 2,300 a week. On to centre backs now and Benjamin Kusevich looks like a perfect defender for this level of football. He's 20 years old, 6 foot 1 and 67 rated in the first season. 76 jumping, 74 strength, 72 marking, 71 acceleration and 71 aggression. Maybe not quite good enough to break into the first team immediately but after a couple of months of training he'll be a brick wall at the back. He's got all right pace for a centre back too with medium, medium, 3 star, 2 star and a good potential of 82. Get him now for 2 million and 2,900 a week. Reese Oxford is the slightly cheaper option in this one. He's appeared a couple of times on my channel already and it's pretty easy to see why. His wages, price and potential. Just 17 years old and 6 foot 3 with a 66 overall and with good up and coming stats. Medium, medium, 3 star, 2 star and a potential of 85. So consider getting Oxford on board or why not buy both I'll leave you to think but in the meantime let's get on to fullbacks David Kamona is up first starting on the right side 19 years old 68 rated and 5 foot 9 85 stamina 80 sprint speed 75 acceleration 72 agility 71 balance and 71 jumping pretty well rounded but can be molded into the type of fullback of your choosing medium medium 3 star 2 star and a potential of 82 I know some people look for players with a lot of stamina so maybe this guy solves your problems and he'll cost you 2 million and 1,900 a week. Pedro Pereira of Sampadora is the second choice of today. 18 years old, 5 foot 9, 67 rated, 80 agility, 80 balance, 75 acceleration and 75 sprint speed. Not my preferred choice but he's maybe one to think about if David isn't available. Medium, medium, two star, two star and a potential of 81 and could definitely do with a little bit of training. You can get him for a good price at 1.7 million but his wages are more expensive than most at 7,900 a week. And the first choice for left backs today, it's Christian Ramirez. 21 years old, 5 for 8 and physically very gifted. 85 balance, 85 stamina, 84 agility, 83 acceleration, 83 jumping and 79 sprint speed. Technically in game he's actually a free agent but hopefully you can get him for a decent price. High medium 4 star 2 star and a potential of 80 and you can usually pick him up for around 2.9 million and 2,400 a week but it may vary slightly depending on the club he's signed to in your save. Kieran Tierney of Celtic is the other option when it comes to looking for left backs. 19 years of age, 67 overall, 5 foot 10. Pretty well rounded at his young age but doesn't look anywhere near the finished product when you buy him. Medium medium, 2 star, 2 star but with a very solid potential of 82. 
And you know when he eventually reaches and possibly outgrows that potential, 2.1 million and 11,500 a week is a sum that is tiny in comparison. So let's move up the pitch to midfield and we'll start with the CDMs, Asane Juice. He's made a couple of appearances on my channel already as his price and potential are simply just great. 18 years old, 5 foot 9, 67 rated. When you look at his technical and physical stats, he really looks a lot better than his current overall. Medium high, so don't worry about him getting too far up the pitch. 3 star, 3 star and a great potential of 83. 1.7 million and 2,900 a week. As I said, amazingly cheap and an amazing prospect. And the next choice for the CDM spot would be Rodrigo Hernandez Cascante. For some reason, he won't show up if you search his entire name in the search bar. So the only way to find him is by going into Villarreal's players. But don't skip him out because he's an effort to find because he's a little gem at 20 years old and 6 foot 3. He's got an overall of 68 in the first season, which is good for a championship player with, with great passing stats to accompany that. He's a player that can be moulded into a defensive machine with a future rating of 81 with consistent training sessions. So go and grab him for 1.8 million and 10,000 a week. Yep, you've guessed it, we're moving on to centre midfield now. And we've got another very tall player in Denis Zakaria. 19 years old this time, 68 rated 2 and again 6 foot 3. 80 strength is always a great stat to possess along with his 79 aggression, 77 stamina, 75 sprint speed, 74 interceptions and 73 short passing. Medium medium so he'll remain roughly in the middle of the park most of the time, 4 star 2 star and a potential of 82. He'll cost 1 million more than Rodrigo at 2.8 but he's only currently earning 6,500 a week. One of my favourites in this top 20 is up next, Abdul Qadir Umar of Travensport. An unbelievable hidden gem this year at just the age of 17. He's 66 rated, 5 foot 6, 90 balance, 84 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, 84 agility and 81 curve, 72 short passing, high medium work rates, 4 star weak foot and 3 star skills. All of that plus his extremely high potential of 84 for his ridiculously low price of 1.6 million and 3,400 a week make this guy one of the most crucial signings you should look to make if you decide to take the reins of a championship side. On to attacking midfielders and we've got two of similar ability and price. Our first is Basant Selina. In real life, a Manchester City player out on loan. In the game, a fully fledged FC20 youngster. 19 years of age, 69 overall, 5 foot 11. He's right footed and specialises in dead ball situations, which is something that can be quite rare to find on teenagers in this game. Medium, medium, 3 star, 2 star, and a very solid potential of 83. If you fancy bringing him on board, he's going to set you back 3 million and 2,700 a week. And the alternative to Selena. Jarland Barrera, the Colombian 20 year old who would be favoured by people who play a more skillful type of football in career mode. Personally I don't find skill moves do too well against the CPU, but each to their own. He's still a very decent pickup at 70 rated, 5 foot 7 and with 90 agility. Medium medium 4 star 4 star and also a very solid potential of 83. He does cost more than most at 3.1 million but his wages are smaller than most at 2000 300 a week. Our next position is left midfield and left wing and we've got the quickest player of the lot up next, Kakuta Manair. 96 acceleration and 92 sprint speed is quite something to behold. He could literally be your own mini Walcott for your new team. 21 years old, 70 rated, 86 agility, 80 balance, 75 dribbling and 74 shot power. Looking to play a counter-attacking style, well this guy would certainly thrive. High, medium, 2 star, 4 star and a potential of 81. 2.6 million and 4,300 a week is all you need to get this pace monster in your ranks. The cheapest left wing option from my recommendations is Rafik Zeknini. Another hidden gem in the game and probably overlooked a lot when you start searching for good left mid or left wing youngsters. He starts off as an 18 year old with a lot of speed, 67 rated and 5 foot 10. 
90 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 83 agility and 74 balance. A good frame to build around. High, medium, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills is also a massive bonus. An 80 potential is pretty solid, but it's his price and wages which just make him a fantastic buy. 1.6 million and 2,100 a week. He's one to definitely consider. Our next left-sided player is Marvin Stefniak of Dresden. Currently playing in the second tier of German football, Marvin does look like another high-quality hidden gem that's now been uncovered. 21 years old, 69 rated, 5 for 10, matches our previous options with good pace but also has the extra hidden talent of being a decent free kick taker medium medium four star three star and a potential of 83 an option but the final choice is yours the final recommendation from me for wingers is steven bergevine of psv a phenomenal talent from fifa 16 he's been downgraded a bit but he's still a top quality pickup 18 years old, 5 foot 9, 69 rated, 84 sprint speed, 83 acceleration, 83 balance, 78 agility, 76 dribbling and 74 ball control. Medium, medium, 2 star, 4 star and a potential of 84. The stats and potential speak for themselves and for a very fair price of 3 million and 6,300 a week. You've got 4, now make your choice. On to the other side, we start with the American Pacey Beast playing in League 1, Kaboli Aribi. 21 years old, 6 foot 1 and 68 rated. 94 sprint speed and 88 acceleration. Pretty similar to all our wingers so far. High rated speed and a good frame to develop into a future high class player. High low work rates, 5 star weak foot and 4 star skills is also extremely beneficial. He's got a solid 80 potential to go on top of all of that and he's only going to take you down 2.1 million and 3,200 a week. Patrick Roberts is the second player from Celtic to make this 25 player list. I personally only really discovered him from the top 20 English bargains countdown and until then I didn't realise how much of a beast he really was. 19 years old, 69 rated and 5 foot 6. 91 agility, 90 balance, making his slow dribbling by far the best way to beat players on the pitch. 82 acceleration, 78 sprint speed and 78 dribbling. High medium, 2 star, 3 star and a potential of 84. If you are the sort of person who likes bringing in homegrown talent, then 3.1 million is a fair price. But his wages are the highest of today at 14,000 a week. Guang Hyok Lee of the Pohang Steelers is our mega cheap option for the right wing position. Ridiculously quick, 67 rated, 20 years old, 81 potential, high medium, 4 star, 2 star. A truly unbelievable find in this game and he's been that way since the 25 amazing players for under 1 million video discovered him. If you're lacking squad depth then this guy can fulfill that role for sure. So I hope you've got 975k spare and 5100 a week in wages set aside to bring him in. But the final player for this position is Valkav Kearney. Just like Steven Bergevin, incredible last year, slightly downgraded this year, but still an amazing prospect. 18 years old, 70 rated, 92 agility, 87 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, 80 balance, 78 dribbling and 77 ball control. Medium, medium, 3 star, 3 star and a potential of 84. He's still got all the talent to become a top class player so don't doubt in his abilities just because his potential has gone down but I'll let you be the judge of who you want to buy. Kearney will cost 2.5 million and 6,300 a week. On to the final and some would say the most important position it's the strikers and who else to recommend but the best English bargain? Connor Chaplin my personal favourite youngster to buy in all my new career modes simply because he's an incredible prospect for an amazing price. If you don't use him, loan him out and sell him off for profit in the future. He might not make the first team for you when you first sign him, but after a season, he'll surely destroy most championship sides. For 1 million and 2,200 a week, he's worth a gamble. Jan Karamo is the next striker of choice. 18 years old, 6 foot 1 and good pace. All the ingredients you need to create a seriously clinical and powerful striker over 5 seasons. 
Medium, medium, three star, three star, and a potential of 81. Being 67 rated in the first season means he could definitely start pushing for first team football immediately, especially after you get him through the training regimes. He's only going to cost 1.8 million and 7,600 a week. So go and bring him in if he's what you're after. And the final recommendation of today truly looks like a young Moroccan Ibra, Yusuf and Nezri. Came across the guy when I was searching for a very particular type of striker and only this guy turned up. 19 years old, 6 foot 4, 81 sprint speed, 74 acceleration, 72 finishing, 71 jumping and 71 dribbling. Medium, medium, full star, 3 star and a potential of 81. His height alone is a massive factor up front and personally I find heading is a great way of scoring against legendary this year. He's got good pace as well for a big guy with pretty decent dribbling too. Another hidden gem dusted off. So definitely consider this guy if you desperately need a new first team centre forward for your championship side. And that's 25 amazing players to sign for a championship side. I hope you guys agree with all my selections. There's plenty that could have made it, but I made my choices based around first season rating, potential transfer and wage cost. All of them look incredible buys to me, so hopefully they do great for you guys too. But that's this video finished. If you like the video, be sure to let me know by pressing that like button. Stay subscribed for plenty more top 10s, 20s, 25s and other career mode videos. And I embrace for impact and thanks for watching.